This week has brought us to a whole new chapter at Microsoft Flight Simulator, exploring more of Canada, giving us a beautiful part of the world. Is this yet? Oh, do we have a set of new exciting add-ons to discover a beautiful sim? We're about to find out. A great week at the sim, ladies and gentlemen. The sim has reached a good level to welcome more changes and embrace new add-ons. Changes on every aspect, hoping to give us a seamless experience. We had sim update 10 and now with Canada, things have been more exciting. By the way, would this be your first visit? Every week we bring you the latest on what's hot at the sim, covering the marketplace, development updates, community events, freewares, we have them all. So hit that subscribe button as it can greatly help us. With every major update, welcomes an aircraft. The Local Legend series unveiled the seventh installment, bringing us a Cessna 195. A moment of history to taste that was first introduced to the public in 1947, where the maiden flight was two years before that. A popular aircraft during its time, with a dual use by the US Air Force, the Army National Guard as a light transport and utility aircraft. Cessna's only post-war radial engined aircraft and the 195 was the first to be constructed with aluminum featuring a cantilever wing, quite similar to the Cessna 165 before the war. Arriving to the marketplace for $20, this can take us back to the good old times of aviation. For the vintage lovers, we have the Tiger Moth from Ant's Airplanes, finally unveiling at the marketplace this week. This category needs more attention, the vintage kind, and we have seen plenty of other categories at the sim. The first project from this team, by the way, where the iconic biplane has been a successful conversion from previous platforms. Yes, a highly popular project at both FSX and Prepare3D. With realistic flight dynamics and in-depth simulation of the aircraft systems and engine, the Tiger Moth is a legendary aircraft for both military and civilian use. A simple model rather comes with a comprehensive list of features promising simmers taking us back to time. The modern era isn't less of an excitement this week, with a C510 Mustang finally arriving to the marketplace from the team of Coxpur. A new business jet and the category most of the simmers have been waiting for. This would be the team's third aircraft, offering us a more complex one and a functioning one. Now the main goal was to recreate the Mustang with most details as possible and certainly appears to be so with the level of reception it's received. A complex jet demands greater attention to detail and the original plan was to give us few variants including the standard one, High Sierra edition and the air ambulance, each of them having their own unique interiors. Now for the console users, meaning Xbox, there is some good news. This has been an Xbox release as well, for $25. Moving to commercial for those Phoenix lovers including myself, another major update arrives to us with more changes. It's impressive to see some teams give us an immersive experience. With CFM 56 engines, 200 plus failures, 181 liveries, 288 working, circuit breakers and so much more. This team still tries to up their game, ensuring that every flight can be seamless with periodic updates. Now ground level speaking, creativity never stops with this team. That's right, South Oaks Co have again made a move on offering us a VFR add-on and this time with the inclusion of emergency lights. Imagine flying over a city and you come across those scenarios that gets you thinking if the sim is real enough. An enhancement that adds realistic flashing emergency vehicle lights along roadways and populated areas. Now this is easily visible on VFR, especially at night. Another challenge to pilots to avoid getting distracted. The coverage is great here, the entire US in this case, and with a level of details that is minimal on frame rates, this can be worth taking a look. In the world of development, live weather has turned out to be an aspect of interest. It always fascinates anyone to know and feel how weather can be in any part of the world. The sim has reached at a level that can deliver much better realism. With an unfortunate Hurricane Ian, the aspect of live weather got more interesting this week, taking us closer to the storm that has been over the eastern coast of the US, Florida to be particular. The sim certainly has been doing more than we expected on the weather engine. With the inclusion of gusts, wind effects, there's still more room to further refine these areas and trying to relate a bit more to the environment. A growing platform, but great progress. 
The future of flight simming can be extraordinary, at Microsoft Flight Simulator of course. On the level of other platforms, we ought to expect more competition, a healthy one for certain. But we are the ones ultimately getting the best of both worlds. There's certainly more growth at the sim, in mysterious ways. From creativity to partnerships offering each of the team the right support, engaging one another in a world within itself. Before we move to events and freewares, what a setup is this, eh? The seriousness of flight simming has grown over time. That's a very neat setup and if you like sharing your setup to be featured here, feel free to reach us at Discord and we'll be more than happy to show them. It's all about that community feel of meeting other cool pilots and sharing your setups. Towards community events, we usually spotlight a regular gang being the Aussie Group Flights team. But it's past Friday and it's time to take a good look at the next exciting event. Now the region of Panama needs more applause, a region in Central America. Hosted by Captain Kale, the plan is to have a scenic tour around the area. Stole aircraft are the suggested ones and something similar. A twin order can work fine. The plan is to enjoy some beautiful landscapes, fly over the highest elevation in Panama with the highest volcano in Southern Central America and have a great time meeting plenty of pilots. Plus, if you join our Discord server, you can find the time, length of the flight, cruising speed and a lot more details of the event. Moving to freewares, let's pay a visit to Austria this week. The Flieger Horst Hinterstrasse Airport Now first of all, Austria is beautiful, not just in reality, at the sim as well, with great landscapes, sunsets to remember, valleys and more. With this airport makes it more engaging and another reason to flight sim from this location to the nearest point of interest. Produced by Troglitis, this has been a well received add on to the sim. A military airfield actually, that's located in Styria that serves as a main airfield for Austria. Now this airfield boasts of features that are more than plenty. From handcrafted buildings, tower, internals, animated radar and searchlight, models that include aprons, taxiways, runways, approach lights plus handcrafted points of interest in the surrounding areas. All together packed in this add-on. It surely deserves a 4.92 out of 5 with more than 3000 downloads. A fairly new add-on if you see it that needs more spotlight. So big thanks to the developer for this add-on. How many changes have we noticed really at the sim this summer or this year for that matter? It can be countless and this is just the beginning. There's more to follow for sure. Stay tuned by subscribing. It's been a true pleasure. Until next time, do take care.